The Florida Gators have landed a commitment again, kind of again. Like they landed the commitment, and then they lost the commitment, and then they re-landed the commitment. It's a whole thing. We'll talk about it here on Locked On Gators. You are Locked On Gators, your daily podcast on the Florida Gators. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown Gators, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day. Thanks for making Lockdown Gators your first listen of the day. We are available daily and free wherever you listen to the podcast. And like I said, the Florida Gators have landed a commitment from Makai Boyro. Um, I will say I'm a little disappointed with the timing of the commitment just because it's right during the match. It literally during the first drive of the MAC championship. And as you guys know, I am a, a Toledo fan, right? Right above there. Uh, I am Toledo and I am Florida. And that was just incredibly rude timing by Makai Boyro. But for Florida here, look, I don't know. How, like I'm, I'm going to paint this the best way I can. This is a good ad to the 2024 recruiting class, right? It's someone that you never should have lost, but it's also a situation where Kirby Smart got him to decommit from you, and then now he's back. Like, th this is something where I'm happy to get Makai Boyro back. It's important to win those kinds of battles. I am still upset that Kirby got him to decommit from the first place. But Makai Boy was back 6'5", 390 is what he's listed as. I've been told that he's lost weight. He's tried to trim down, get a bit more fluid, a bit more athletic there, which is big. Uh, on the 24-7 composite, he is the 726th national player, 82nd defensive lineman, 81st in the state of Georgia. And those don't sound great, right? Like no one's going to be like, ah, 726, baby. Um, but I feel like it's important to remember or important to acknowledge that Makai Boyro is a defensive lineman, defensive tackle, nose tackle. He's the, sure, 82nd ranked defensive lineman uh, in, in this class. That includes guys like LJ McCray, who are going to be strong side defensive ends. That includes guys like, I mean, uh, that just from last year's reference, Gavin Hill, who's going to be like a three tech and defensive end. It includes all those guys. Makai Boyro is a pure nose tackle. That's it. Like that's what he's going to be. That, that Cam Jackson, that Desmond Watson type guy. That's the role that Makai Boyro is going to play. So yes, he's the 82nd ranked defensive lineman. He's probably top 10 nose tackle. I'd say, again, we've talked about this with Brian Smith when uh, we've talked about this with, with Brian Smith before on the show where there's not a lot of nose tackles that can play in the SEC. It's just as simple as that. There's not a lot. There's a few every cycle who can legitimately play in the SEC. And Brian believes Mikai Boyro is one of them. Great size. Again, he, he's working to become a more fluid athlete. Also, this goes to an absolute testament of what Callie James, a GA with the defensive line, has done. Because Callie James is the one who went on the road for this. Callie James, Coach James, is who, who secured this commitment again. We heard a few days ago that it was like, oh, it's, it's likely that Makai Boyro is going to come to Florida again. But... Callie James is a big reason for that. This is the second time the Florida Gators under Billy Napier have secured a defensive line commit without a defensive line coach. This one, of course, being Callie James, the first one, uh, Callie James getting Makai Boyro. The first one is Chris McClellan committing to Florida. But Makai Boyro is someone that I am going to be excited to add. I, I don't care. I am annoyed that he ever decommitted. And I get it. You know, he, he comes back to Florida, whether that's because Georgia no longer had a spot, whether that's because Georgia fell out of favor, whether Florida just recruited their you-know-what's-off to get him. 
I don't necessarily care the reasoning there. I care that Florida has added a a starting caliber defensive lineman, someone that will be a starting caliber defensive lineman, again, at a position of, one, need. You're lucky you got Cam Jackson back. I was not expecting that at all. I, I was so sold on Cam's going to the NFL. Because he should have. I, I still believe Cam should have gone to the NFL. It's not a knock on him at all. I just don't know really what he can do to raise his stock with NFL teams aside from all of a sudden develop a pass rush, a pass rush repertoire. So I, I'm thinking that Makai Boyrose is coming in now. Great. He gets a year behind Cam Jackson. I'm hoping Desmond Watson comes back. I, I don't think he's going to be a portal kid. Um but this is this is a big ad for Florida. I get li- again, literally and figuratively, this is a big ad where Florida has added to the defensive line. And also, let's just talk about this. Let's just talk about this. It's nice to get a win because it's been a little while since Florida's had something good go for them. And I, I've talked about this before, where I thought when the season ended that I'd be like, all right, the team can't hurt me on Saturdays anymore, and now they're just hurting me every day. Um, but for Florida, this is, again, you're adding someone here. And I think it goes, I think it's a big testament to Kelly James. I know that the reason Coach James was chosen to go on the road is because of the way that he has developed relationships with some of these recruits, Makai Boyro specifically included. So that that's a huge one for Florida. Like like having Kelly James go out there and commit to Florida or get Makai Boyro to commit to Florida while on this trip cannot be understated. Again, Coach James is listed as a GA with the defensive line, and he's going out there getting commits. Just saying. that That's way above his pay grade to go out there and do that. So, hey, if you want to make him assistant D-line coach or something, I'm not going to fall. Not D-line. Let's not get crazy. But for Makai Boyro, this 2024 class, it's big for Florida. Again, like I mentioned, like you, you need to secure some of these kids. And again, Makai Boyro is someone that we talked about in, in what was it, June when he initially committed? I, I think he was around June 10th-ish. I think that was him. But adding Makai Boyro, that's that's a great add to this class. We are like, dude's an absolute unit. Uh, we, we expected him to commit a while ago, and then when he decommitted, it was kind of a shock. And then we were like, okay, George is, George is playing in there. But Florida was a big-time leader for him for a long time. We'll get to the chat. I see you guys asking questions. If you have any more questions, go ahead and ask them. Um, and we'll get to the chat in the second half of this. And I will hopefully get back to watching Toledo not break my heart because the game did not get off to a hot start with a, uh, a field goal for Miami and then a fumble for Toledo. So we'll, we'll see about that. But before we get into that, let me tell you guys about Prize Fix because Prize Fix has been the best way to make money playing daily fantasy football this year, daily fantasy sports this year. If you've got skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with a few easy taps and research. It's simple and easy to play with quick withdrawals too. And it's what makes Price Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. I said this the other day, and I'm, I'm going to bring it back. I think it was Wednesday. Thank you to Cole Anthony, John Collins, Jalen Suggs, Derek Rose, and Franz Wagner. You are very much appreciated. I will say that. Thank you for the free money. Go to pricepicks.com slash lockdown college. Use code lockdown college for a first deposit match up to $100. And remember that prize picks is daily fantasy sports made easy with passion, drive, and patience. That's what brings home the winning trophy. And it's also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance from superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, Power or style, eBay Motors has got you covered with over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die. You'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your parts guaranteed to fit your rides that you're spending, so that you're burning rubber and not cash. Keep your ride or die alive with eBayMotors.com. Eligible items only, exclusions applied. eBay Guaranteed Fit is only available to U.S. customers. Thanks again for making Lockdown Gators your first listen of the day. We are available daily and free wherever you listen to the podcast. Uh, I am Brandon Olson, as you know, locked on Gators, your team every day. Uh, I did not expect a commitment today. I'm, I'm happy for, let me say this. I thought there was a chance we'd get a commitment today 
Makai Boyro wasn't who I thought it was going to be. I thought he would w- just wait till signing day at this point. I feel like that's usually what kids do when they flip once and then like, all right. Or when they decommit once and then like, all right. I'll just have to wait till signing day uh, before changing a second time. So well, I'm going to go into the chat now. Um, but yeah, there was a running back that I was maybe expecting, but I think that that's going to have to wait until we get a specific uh, announcement from number seven, should that happen. Um, but looking into the chat, him decommitting because of Kirby and then committing again looks bad on Kirby. No, depends how you want to look at it. Again, like, like I mentioned, like you could say that Kirby got him to decommit and then Kirby chose to not take him in the long run, especially after they flipped Nasir Johnson. Um, you can look at it as Florida fought back and got him back. I don't know what exactly happened there. And here's the thing. Genuinely, one of those times I don't care too much about it because I'm just like, all right, we're, we're adding a, a good defensive lineman back to the class. I'm, I'm not going to hate on you there. I, I will take it. Like, actually, like William Fisher said, I will take it. Yes, I, I will take it. Um we're making the trenches, didn't have them last year. Yeah, no. I, I, again, I'm fully on board with Makai Boyro. I, I said this back in June. I said, I, hey, I think he's going to be one hell of a nose tackle at the next level. He decommitted. And what did I say? I still think he's going to be one hell of a nose tackle at the next level. I do not care about the, the logistics of him leaving and coming back. None of that. Makai Boyro is here. And he's going to stay this time. So I'm I'm big on that one. Again, I, I can't get over enough how much of a testament it is to Coach Callie James, who was at multiple high schools yesterday, had in-home visit with Makai Boyro. And again, like I've said, I was told a big reason Coach James was the one that got chosen to go on these recruiting trips was specifically because of the relationship that he has with Makai Boyro that he was going to be the one to lock that in. And every time we've had Brian Smith on the show, we talk about, oh, is it NIL? Is it the coaching staff? What is it? And every time he's like, look, for most kids, the main thing to getting a recruitment or getting a commitment, relationships. Coach James has worked to develop that relationship. He's earned this right to land that uh, land that commitment. And we need O-line. Yes, we do need O-line. And um, by the way, what was it? Uh, it's a CFB portal or whatever the Twitter account was yesterday that was like Jordan Seaton's committing to my sources tell me Jordan Seaton's committing to Colorado. Not only were they wrong with what the announcement was, you are such a lame. You are such a lame for trying to spoil a kid's commitment like that. Um, we have interest in the D line coach from Pitt is known for NFL talent. Not what I've been told. Um, what I've been told is that Partridge has interest in Florida. To my knowledge, a couple of days ago, I was told Florida has not reached out to Partridge. Uh, so, yeah, that's not exactly what I'm what I've been told. Um, I've been told that that Partridge has interest, but that Florida has not to this point publicly reached out to him. I'd love the hire. I would. Uh, I, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Cornerback coach uh, Mike Banks said Walt Harris, uh, Will Harris, Will Harris is the guy that we are expecting um, or rumored, I guess. Will Harris is currently the assistant DBs coach for the Los Angeles Chargers. He was at Georgia Southern um, in 2021 as their defensive coordinator before going to the NFL. And prior to that, he spent four years at Washington and every year had an All-American defensive back. I'll take it. I'll I'll take All-American defensive backs back in Gainesville. Um. Do you think we get any new hires announced this weekend? I honestly, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. I know that uh, we were expecting something late in the week this week. I don't know if that meant yesterday was supposed to happen and things changed today. I, I honestly don't know. Um, hoping it happens immediately. I thought that when they fired Sean Spencer and Corey Raymond that we were going to get an announcement like that because – I don't think you fire position coaches unless you have the guy lined up. So maybe there's that. Um, commits def know who they – maybe, maybe. Um, I've also thought maybe the commits are told or, and the current players are told, like, hey, it's, it's between these guys, um, just to avoid a specific name being leaked. Uh, join the Discord. 
join the Discord. Links in the description below. Um, not impressed with a three star. Not after what we lost. Okay, then don't be impressed, dude. Don't be impressed. I don't care. You can you can talk about a three star all you want, and I'm not saying that every three star is going to work out and every three star is going to thrive. But I will say that we've seen plenty of three stars actually work out. Andy Jean is a three star. Bryce Thornton's a three a three star. Jordan Castell is a three star. Um, Najee Harris is a three star. Just in the 2023 class, like you don't have to be impressed with them, but it's like to be like I'm not impressed, and no one's trying to impress you. How about that? No one's trying to impress you with it. Uh, six four at nose is scary. Six four three ninety is what he's listed as. Again, I, I think he's lost weight. Um, I can't tell you that, Polo. I, I will tell you there is a possibility that Florida is pursuing Jared Gibson and Jaden Ball are the two running backs that I'm expecting to hear. The, the two names that have been publicly known. I, I would think that Florida is going to try to hammer home one of those commitments to get a second running back in the class. Uh, what have I heard about a coach hire? Literally not much. I've been way more focused on recruiting than coaching hires because recruiting is I'm focused on the guys that I know are going to be here. And I'll leave it at that. Um, I think Billy Napier knows who he's hiring. I think he does too. Part of the reason that makes me think they're in the NFL is because they haven't been announced yet. Will Harris would probably wait till the NFL, which again, if if the recruits and commits and players are told, hey, it's Will Harris, but but you got to wait for the NFL season. Um, again, coaches in the NFL can leave, assistants can leave for college. It's a matter of if they want to just jump ship in the middle of the season and bail on the guys that they've spent time working with. I think that's where we're different. Um, so if it's Will Harris, if it's Chris Rump from Minnesota, then, then so be, but again, NFL guys is, is maybe what's happening here. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, Mike, we need O-linemen like a mother trucker. Um, hopefully there's some progress made on Jordan Seaton. I know that Rob Sale is... I know that as much as Florida Gators fans dislike Rob Sale, Rob Sale is a big reason Jordan Seaton is even considering Florida. So I'm I'm at the point where I'm like, hey, if you can lock in Jordan Seaton, I keep him. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at that point. Great news, get a defensive lineman commit after firing Spencer. Absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah. Need a lot of help, but thank you all so much. I again, the fact that I get to do this on like a Saturday at, at noon, we started getting set up. Um, is ridiculous to me. It's absurd to me, and I love it. Thank you so much for tuning in. If there's more news, I'll be around, and, and we'll be here to discuss it on Lockdown Gators. Don't forget to uh, sign up for the subtext if you want. It's two weeks free, five bucks a month after that. It's a one-on-one -on -one conversation. You get insight that I get before anybody else. I give it to the subtext people. Um, join Lockdown Gators Discord. Link's in the description below. Thank you so much for any support that you can give, and as always, I will see you next time. Who knows when something's going to happen.